Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Charlotte, and today we are going to be reviewing Fantasy Let's Play. They are a cosplay website and just like fashion website that reached out to me and wanted to send me some products. So I accepted it. They are not sponsoring this video and they did not pay me to make a video or promote them. They just sent me the products, but that is not going to sway my opinions on the products or anything overall. So I actually have the like logistics of everything that I got. They allowed me to pick um, $50 worth of their products and I got five different things. So the first thing that I immediately went for was some cat ears. These are really cute purple cat ears that have a little bell and a cute little ribbon, pink liner, and a big old black clip. Now these were less than $2. They were $1.88 and for that price, they are perfect. There's a little bit of a clip showing, but that is only on the underside and inside, but nobody's gonna be looking at the inside of your cat ears and you can easily paint it pink. Now, these overall are very nice quality. I will be making a whole cat girl look based off of these. And I've gotta say, I'm really happy with them. Um, this bell is a lot softer than this bell. I think that there's just a better ball or it might be jammed in this one right now because I've been playing with them. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. Again, for $2, you cannot go wrong with these. The next item that I got was actually a choker. This choker was about $7. It was $6.82, and it is a very nice choker. It is a leather, kind of fake leather, faux leather strap. It's got two layers that are attached together with these little pins, and then a metal clasp with the chain like circle and the hook is also metal it is really really nice honestly like i'm super happy with this choker it's not uncomfortable there's nothing to stab me like i'm very very happy with it i think it's a little bit too big for my neck um i used it in a harley quinn look and i will probably use it again i might trim it down a little bit i'm not sure yet but again i really love the quality of this and for like seven dollars for a nice thick black choker with real metal. It's great. I just did it myself. Now the next item I got, oh, I threw it off screen, are these vampire things. They are very simple, very cute. They come with the moldable stuff in it and instructions that tell you how to use it in English and in Russian, I think. Now that is not an issue for me. Um, I have used these kind of moldable vampire teeth before, but I've yet to use these just because I'm lazy. Overall though, like just the shape of these things is really, really nice. Um, I was really happy to see that they actually had a decent point to them and weren't like ridiculously big. And the color of them isn't like a pure jet white kind of look. It's a natural and it has tons of space to actually fill in the mold material on. It looks really natural, right? Like I'm overjoyed with these. And this was less than a dollar for these things, like literally 86 cents for these babies. And I can't be happier. I will be posting pictures when I use these. Obviously it might take me a little bit of time because I'm lazy, but yeah, overall super duper happy with the fangs. And then I got two cosplays from them. I got a Daenerys dress and a Harley Quinn look. This Harley Quinn look was actually the most expensive thing in the order. It came out to $25.58 and it has the crop top and matching pants. Now, when I saw the price, I was like, there's no way it's gonna like be bad quality and it's not. There are no missed threads. There's no like imperfections on the actual print. Like it lines up really, really well and centered. Um, I'm really, really happy with the back of this as well, that it actually has a different kind of look to it and a harness. I really, really like it. The fit was actually really well. Is It fit me perfectly. And I got a size small, which on the tags is a three or four, I believe. And it is, what is it? 88% polyester, 12% spandex. The pants are really nice. The logo I absolutely love. There's a little bit of shading and difference along the lines. On the back, it looks textured as well. Like these are perfect. The only complaint that I have is that the belt buckle isn't really lined up perfectly, but I usually throw a belt on top of these kind of things because I think it looks better and it breaks up like your body a little bit. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy 
with this combination. It was the most expensive thing, but like the quality is there and that's what you will normally pay for these types of outfits. But yeah, again, very happy. I want a size small and it fit me perfectly. It hugged me in the right ways. It didn't like rip at all. There were no like, um, like the, once you put it on, sometimes the print snags out and just fades. That didn't happen at all. And I really tried to abuse these to see if that would happen. But yeah, you can see the textured bits. You can see where it all lines up down the leg. I'm very happy with them. Like, I think it's worth the $25 and I'm really happy to own it and promote them through this item. Um, we're gonna cut to me getting into the Daenerys cause I did a little bit of cost test when I wore it and then we'll come back up and wrap up the details about this whole experience. All right, so this is what I have right now for a cost test. I know the wig isn't 100% accurate and my makeup isn't either, but it's for the purpose of seeing how it looks. And honestly, not bad. Like. Of course, the belt isn't accurate and the shoulder things aren't, but it's really not that bad. I am wearing a bra because I am not doing this braless. But yeah, the cut is actually perfect for me. It shows just enough. Um, the actual like back part is staying up really, really well. I might replace this with invisible straps. Um, but it doesn't drip too much. The belt is actually pretty sturdy, which is surprising. The cape part is super flowy, which I like, and it doesn't have any like imperfections in the actual cloth of it, which I was really scared of, but it's totally fine. The shape of the dress, once I got it on with the belt, is actually very flattering. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like how it looks. And again, for like $14, this is a great base for this cosplay because I'm not dropping $50 just on the dress. And I can make this work with easy alterations and additions. There is a slip at the bottom that is a little bit annoying that it just ends, but I think I can just add to it or remove it. But yeah, I'm very happy with it overall. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably just going to alter the things that I mentioned. If you guys want a full video on how I've been altering this, let me know in the comments below because I can totally just film my process of making this a little bit more accurate. But again, overall, just for a Halloween costume, this would slay. And just for like a one-time cosplay, really not bad. I really like it. So that was my overall order from Fantasy Let's Play. And I gotta say, overall, I'm super happy with all the products that I got. I plan to use this all so much and I actually really enjoyed the website overall. It was easy to find what I wanted, their categories are very very helpful, and their sizing charts are very true to size, like everything fits super well. And I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, it is bcharlotteD0920. I will put that in the bio. Um, for the video as well as up on the screen, you will get 25% off your first purchase, which is pretty good. And yeah, I'm very happy overall. Again, I highly recommend this site because it has everything really cheaply and the shipping overall only cost me about $5 for these items. However, I got these items in a two month span overall and they came in separate parcels, some overseas, some in the United States. So that is something that you have to keep in mind when ordering from them. But again, everything is like super high quality and really, really cheap. So I'm happy with them and I will probably be shopping or collaborating with them again. So yeah, I highly recommend you at least check out their website because they do have some really, really cute stuff. But that is it for this video. Again, check them out. Check out the promo code that I have for you guys and follow if you want to see more. I have a ton of ideas and a lot of stuff posted on my other social medias as well, but that is it for today. Bye.